Hello everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips, and we will be talking about how to play videos from the command line. So I've got a King of the Hill video here from my MB server. Uh, it's running MB and Plex at the same time. I don't know why, but anyway, I got this file off of it and we're gonna use it to play back with mplayer. So to start off, Go to your file manager, find where your videos are. If you want to be quick about it, you can right click, select open in terminal, and that will shoot a terminal right into where you need to be. So from there, you just need to use the ls command and show the videos. So we have the screencast that I am currently recording right now as we speak. So I can't play that one, but I can play this King of the Hill episode. So to do that, I would have to first install mplayer. And since I'm using Debian, I have to do mplayer. Now this will go through and it will ask me to enter my password. I go through and it'll tell me mplayer is already installed so I can execute mplayer and I can type in king of the hill and start the playback if I enter the right command. Now this will use ffmpeg. I have this muted for the sake of copyright and for the sake of uh, just, it's, it's kind of hard to show the playback but um, let me cover this up so it doesn't say anything now, but on YouTube. But uh, as you can see, the playback is completely working. It goes through and it tells me what the audio is, where the audio and video sync is, and I can watch this if I want to watch my video. I can press F to go full screen. I can press space to pause it, and it will tell me it's paused. I can press V if there are subtitles. Uh, I can change the contrast or brightness. Lots of different options, even though this is a terminal client, you know, it has all of the same abilities that say VLC has. And actually the advantage to using mPlayer is that it can run on nearly anything. If you're running an SSH session and you need to forward some X windows, and for some reason you need to play a video, you can quickly just launch mPlayer and forward that X window and watch it over here. And this also helps just with low memory computers, you know, Having the VLC app right here is nice, but it uses quite a bit of memory compared to this one here. And uh, that's why I like mPlayer. And also, I just think that mPlayer is better with vSync. And if you're someone like me who is a stickler for screen tearing, it really annoys me. I cannot stand it. So mPlayer, I think, has a better, it works better with uh, preventing screen tearing than a lot of other applications. Anyways, to quit the playback, just press Q and it will stop. Uh, quick video on how to use mPlayer, you guys. Uh, I highly recommend checking it out. If you are looking for how to install it, check the description below and read our article. I will see you guys in the next video.